the transactions goes for music by the day. Go away, critters online busy. There are worlds that specialize in curing such disorders. Toculon, for example. Don't insult my intelligence, five phase. I trust you no further than I can throw Trypticon. On the other hand, something must be done. Yes, mustn't it? But Galvatron would never go willingly to such a place. That Cyclonus is your club. What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My name is Fate987, and today we are going to be taking a look at our first non-box figure from our big haul that we've recently gotten, even though we're getting more soon. This is of the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Voyager Class Cyclonus. Now, as of the time of recording, I do not have his gun, but this gun is on the way along with a bunch of other figures. So, yeah, beat that, if you want, because, you know, reasons. But, um, he is a very solid figure. I ain't going to lie, I really do like this guy. I, the transformation took me off guard, like, especially, trans, like, you will see that I actually love the transformation a whole lot. And he's one of the few that I actually fiddle around with a lot. Um, with other jet formers, even though they're leaders, uh, here they are, right next to each other. And at the time of this recording, I don't have other parts, but yes, when I eventually get other figures, I will be showing off um, the trio, the ter the original three Terracon trio. And I know you're gonna you guys like gonna like that one, but uh, you want. We could just do something a little bit weird. Um, I don't have Galvatron in his vehicle mode, so for now, we'll just do something like this. And yeah, that's the third leader class, so let's bring in some other Voyagers. Uh, let's bring in all the Terracons. How's that? Let's bring in the other Terracons, because this guy's technically considered a Terracon, so... Let's bring in Novocaine, Freezer, and all that. Yeah. It's, why not? It's, why not? Okay, good? Okay. So, let's get down to... Well, transformation, because there really isn't much. I have no instructions, and I have no weapons, so... Really, this one's pretty easy piece of cake. When I say I love his transformation, I mean it. It is very unique. So, first thing you want to do is that you want to flip these down. Now, of course, this is the only ununique part, because it's kind of like combiner war legs, but deal with it. Um, first thing you want to do is that you want to actually unpeg these. Like so, and like so. And then you're going to angle these back. And then you can untap from here. This is going to spin this whole round. Don't do anything with this yet. Let's focus on the legs. The legs is pretty simple. You can first split them. Second, you can bring this up all the way. So you can flip the foot down. And then... You can fold that in before folding that in, and then just raise the leg until you get into a certain position where it looks, you know, bigger. And there's one leg all done. Second verse, same as the verse. So, <sighs> lift the leg. Bring that down. Bring it out. Push that down. And straighten it out. There you have the legs all done. Now, coming forward to the chest and the arms. Well, first you want to do is that you want to actually bring all of this out. This is going to be very important later on. So, first, you want, so you want to come up here. You want to unfold, and then you want to fold back in, and then push that in. Then, we're going to split from here. And we're going to make sure to keep the uh, landing gear down. We're going to push this in, and then we're going to fold it back in like so. And then we're going to push, fold this all the way up. And then we're going to just tab it in, and then tab it back in together. And yeah, there's the head revealed, and I really do like this. 
Then you're going to use this big tab to slot in here. Do the exact same thing on the other side. And then we're going to bring the wings down. I also like the wing transformation. I think it's unique. Um, so we're going to split from the arm. We're going to bring all of this back like so. And it just kind of double jointed back into place and then just fold that up. And there's a wing all done. And then to finish up the arm, we're going to fold this up, spin this around, and then bring that down. And there's an arm all done. Um, I will show the gun later. Right now, I don't have it with me, but it will be coming soon, so don't worry. And then spin this around. And ladies and gentlemen, there is Cyclonus in his robot mode. And I love how he looks. Also, this is a, this is today's recording session. This is so far the shortest transformation because the other ones have been taking a little while. I don't know why, but they have. But uh, yeah, I mean, I really do like the transformation. I really, it's, I think it's genius. It's, it's inventive. And, you know, for what it is, it, it's it's really good. Now, because he doesn't have any weapons, go straight to articulation. So, head is on a ball joint. Um, he has a oomts, oomts, oomts neck. Um, we have arms on a swivel, but they also have, you know, it's a very nice elbow. Um, nice uh, shoulder articulation. Your arms can go that far. Um, arms on a bicep swivel. And we have a 90 degree bend to the elbow. We have no wrist artic. Actually, no. We do have wrist articulation. That's nice. Um, he has uh, waist articulation. Legs can kick forward that far. They can get back that far because he has no backpack. Like barely in the backpack. That's nice. Um, he can do the full splits. He has a thigh swivel. He has a uh, less than ninety degree bend at the knee unless you fake it. Which uh, you know what? Yeah, I think that's fine. And then you can really lift it up for some even more. Articulation, which is nice. Yeah, these legs don't exactly tab in, but, you know, they are worth it. And then finally, the legs, uh, for their articulation, it isn't much. The feet kind of just fold in that far. But, yeah, I mean, for what this figure is, I think he does his part as... Galvatron second in command very well. Now, let's do side comparison. For comparison with Cyclonus, we're going to bring in a couple things. First of all, we're going to bring in the Terracons, because, you know, Rise of the Beast and uh, Cyclonus is aligned with Unicron. So, there we have that. We're going to bring in Battle Trap as well. And then we're going to carefully bring in Scourge because uh, Scourge, since he's upgraded, is more fiddlier than ever. There we go. And uh, he's taller than Battle Trap, especially with the fucking head. But uh, how does it compare next to Scourge? Yeah. Yeah, that, that does it. That does it alright. And uh, if you want, um, yeah, we could throw in the Freezer and, and Nova Cane as well. So, there we have that. Look at that. It's a nice little Terracon armor we're going. Though we're going to get more Terracons soon. Well, I mean, quote-unquote Terracons. But, uh, yeah, that's it so far. And, of course, Freezer had to fall, fall over. Because he has little weak-ass legs. Well, Novocaine does not, so... There you go. So that's all the side comparison we're going to get. So let's get bit down to transformation, shall we? Um, yeah, just kind of carefully take them off. And especially him, because he falls apart a lot with the Duke upgrades. I might think of just take getting rid of them and just adding on the DNA design kit next year. I'm probably going to do that. 
So, uh, yeah, transform him back into vehicle mode. Again, this transformation I love a lot. So, first we want to do is we're going to spin this around. That's the wrong way. Make sure you spin it so that this hand goes like... Because if you spin it where the short side is, it's going to fail. So, kind of do that. And then... Um, what we're going to do is that we're going to have it angled like this. And then we're going to take the wing. Fold it out. And then we have a spot here. And we're just going to plug it in right there. So that's one arm all done. And then we're just basically going to do the same thing on the other side. Spin this in. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring this around, fold out the wing, and just not neatly to have it in place. Like so. So, there you have that. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to just untab these. Like so. And untab. And then untab. This is going to able to allow us to flip the head back in and then this part's gonna get a little high so I'm gonna raise up the camera what since we're gonna do is that we're going to lift this part out on this double hinge close it back up and then we open this up to get this out Like so. It's, it's better if you have long fingernails, but if you don't, you're going to need something like a small sword or something. Speaking of which, um, I might be getting upgrade kits for some of my figures soon. Um, Fi the Fire Brothers is going to be printing for me. I'm going to be getting only two so far um, because I don't have enough for all of them that I want. So for the time being, we're just going to stick with two. Um, flip them like this. Make sure it's like that. And then what's going to happen is that we're going to... We're going to basically shove in the legs. And at the same time, while shoving in the legs, we're going to open this up and then bring this back in. Bring it down. Like so. So there's a leg all done. Then do the same thing on this side. We lift this up, bring it out, fold up the feet, bring it down, and then just shove in the leg. Like so. And then you just tab these in. And then, well, you need to have them angled away from this. But you tab these in. And then you use this and then you just kind of flip straight up. And the final thing is these don't exactly tab in completely. But they kind of wrap around and I really do appreciate this. They come around and then you have this peg right here going to slot right there which is going to lock all that into place and I flip the landing gear if you like but I prefer not to but yeah there's Cyclonus in his vehicle mode and to end of the review The next review is going to be Kingdom Waspinator. He was a little bit of a pain, I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. And as always, to all our one.